Lewis here with Fedivo, and today I want to ask you a question. When you've been watching behind the scenes content for a feature film or a HBO TV show, or even looking at behind the scenes pictures, how often is it that you see one of these? A softbox. Just think about it. Because it's not that often that you will find a softbox on a proper film set. And instead, you're gonna see one of these. This is a four by four frame uh, with a three quarter stop in it. They come in a variety of different sizes and the fabric comes in a variety of different strengths. And while the softbox is incredibly popular for online content in feature films, you're typically gonna see this doing the job to diffuse light. Why is that? Well, today we're gonna have a look at the differences between a diffusion panel and a softbox. So let's get to it. So this is a softbox, it's used diffuse hard light, it's usually attached via a Bowens mount, and the light will enter, reflect and refract from the inside material, hit the diffusion material on the front, and then offer a more flattering and softer image onto your subject. And because of the circular and octagon and square shapes that they come in, they help wrap light around the subject, opposed to it just falling freely. And you'll often find because of the reflective material inside of the light, it yields a better output than just shining a light through uh, a diffusion material. And what could be seen as a detriment is that they of course have to be attached to the lights. Wherever the light goes, the softbox goes with it. But as a result of that, because of the fixed uh, distance that the light is gonna have from the diffusion material to the back of the light, um, you're not gonna be able to soften the light any further like you could with a diffusion sheet. So you'd have to bring the light in closer, and of course, depending on what type of focal length you're using, that's not always practical. I mean, there's not a lot to say about the softbox. It pretty much does what it says uh, as its title. It's a boxed shape a light modifier which softens the light. So let's have a look at a few examples uh, when this is useful to use. In this example, a young girl is playing an instrument in an apartment but the harsh LED light is ruining the shot. So enter the Aperture Light Dome. This is a 34 inch softbox that instantly transforms the shot. The shadows are less harsh, there's less contrast, and the softbox removes the light spill from the background. The difference is night and day. And at the start of the filmmaking journey, I think this is where you may initially gravitate towards using a softbox. However, keep in mind that while softboxes are great for interviews and creating more softer looking light, they may not always work in every situation. In this example, I feel as though it's apparent that a nearby light is illuminating the subject. I feel like it's slightly brighter on the subject's forehead, and this is due to the circular design of the softbox. The light is softer, it's fine, but in a narrative circumstance where the audience needs to believe that the light is somewhat ambient, a diffusion panel may be a better option. So this is a diffusion panel, and perhaps on the smaller size in comparison to what you would typically find on a film set. They come in a variety of different sizes, as well as a variety of different materials for uh, the uh, diffusion and a variety of different strengths. So you have a lot more possibilities in order to create softer light. It works in a similar way to the softbox. The idea is light will hit the diffusion material, refract, scatter and offer a much more flattering and softer form of illumination, which is gonna look a lot more natural than the softbox. Now, unlike a softbox, it is not attached to a light and instead this will be attached to a C-stand. So you are gonna be working with uh, more tools, which is gonna take up more space, which may be a detriment if you're a one-man band, but it does offer something different. So let's have a look. So I would hope that you recognize a visible difference from the previous shot both tools have softened the LED hard light, but have done so in a completely different manner. The diffusion panel scatters the directionality of the light, but has done so in a manner where there is no single direction. So the entire location receives a soft blanket of light. If you notice with the diffusion panel, even the back walls receive some of the illumination from the diffusion panel, whereas with the softbox, because the light wraps around the subject, it does not reach the wall. However, the light from the diffusion panel is certainly a lot more naturalistic looking. While yes, there are no shadows on the subject's face, which may cause her to appear flatter, it also doesn't look like that there is a light on the location, which in turn makes it incredibly more organic. So you can see why it's used more in narrative situations. However, if you did not want the light to reach the back wall, you would now have to set up a flag to block the light. So this would total three C-stands, two lighting modifiers and one light. On the flip side, we can see that why online content creators typically stick to the softbox. 
So diffusion panels and softboxes, they kind of do the same thing, but a little bit differently. With a softbox, you're gonna get better control of the light because of the directionality of the design, whereas a diffusion panel is gonna be a lot more versatile on set, and it's gonna be able to offer a much more organic looking soft light opposed to the softbox. As to which one I'd recommend, well, it's gonna depend on what your end goals are. If you're a content creator, I think you'd probably want to go towards the softbox. But if you're looking to create some narrative work or music videos, I think the diffusion panel is gonna be a better choice. So I've been Lewis with Fedivo, and I'll catch you guys with another tutorial in a few weeks time.